meow. Meow. Um, not done. I, uh, wanted to make a quick update video about the hunting stuff, too, because some of you guys have asked about that. Um, over here. Oh, how cute he is. Or I could just hold Oliver like this, and the video would get more views. <laughs> um, so my first hunt is on the horizon, and I'm really excited um, actually, I'm in the process of sort of figuring out a couple of hunts, um, because I want, I want more than one shot, just because this first, I, I mean, just statistically, I'm not going to be successful, um, especially not the first time, but I want to give myself as good a shot as I possibly can. Um, anyway, lots of preparation. I have acquired a tree stand, um, and mastered its, its usage, which I'm really excited about. Holy God, like tree stands are miraculous inventions. Because <laughs> uh, like, I, I, I sort of hadn't gotten so far as to really be worried about the tree stand. You know, it took a while to get there because first I had to warm up to the idea of killing something. Um, but then once I'd gotten past that and I was thinking about the logistics and it occurred to me, well, you know what, all of, like most of these guys who I'm hanging out with and learning from, you know, they're, they're older guys, or they're big guys, or just, I'm having a real hard time believing that they're just scaling these trees. Like, how are they getting up there? And, let me tell you, my friends, it is miraculous shit how this works. There is physics involved, and it is crazy effective, and I'm really excited. Um, and I have to wear a harness. Um... So I now have the means to scale trees. So it's it's pretty great. Um, but I have been reading a lot of books with titles like A Beginner's Guide to Butchering Deer. <laughs> uh, which, for the record, get a lot more raised eyebrows in public than any book on witchcraft I've ever dragged anywhere. Um, people make comments about the hunting stuff. Uh, nobody cares about witches. People care about hunting. I've discovered, even in the South. Um, and that, it turns out, is a much more taboo subject, um, at least amongst the people that I associate with, by and large. Um, but it's going really well. Um, I do a lot of archery practice, and I've just learned so much about local ecology and just deer. Like, deer are fascinating, like, majestic creatures. <laughs> like, I just, and I think. A lot of us appreciate animals in, in, I mean, we appreciate animals, but I think a lot of that appreciation is really superficial. I know for me, I discovered that it was really superficial, um, even with all of the hiking and even with my background being kind of a woodsy person, um, man, like reading about breeding cycles and I just, deer are amazing and that this experience by itself has been worth it, whether or not I'm ever successful as a hunter. Um, learning a lot about, um, like, just southern culture broadly, hunting culture, um, North Carolina and hunting, and just things that I never would have been exposed to if I hadn't undergone this process. So already it's been worth it. Um, I've come to reevaluate a lot of my experiences with uh, just being being a Wiccan, right? Because I'm, I mean, for this central figure of of a horned god who rules over, um, you know, not just not just wooded spaces and horned animals necessarily, but death. Um, all of these things have been really put into a different kind of focus for me and been challenged in really important ways. And um, I, I came to find that a lot of my understandings were shallower than I realized that I would have believed. Um, I definitely have a new take on some of these things. And I'll be doing a lot of writing about this whole experience after I've actually 
been out in the field a few times. Um, so it's been, it's been really good. Um, anyway, I even applied for a job at a sporting goods store. So, <laughs> um, really cool. Meeting lots of people who I would never have cause to talk to otherwise. Um, it's, it's expanded my social circle. It's increased my appreciation for where I live and it's increased my appreciation for other kinds of people. Um, who I would be more inclined, who I would have been more inclined in the past to write off as, you know, like people make, people make a lot of jokes about, you know, rednecks and hillbillies and southerners. And there's this whole sort of mythos based around like the uneducated gun toting Republican southerner and actually getting a window into that kind of stereotype and the people you know, masked by that sort of stereotype has been enormously insightful. And um, I've met a lot of really fantastic folks and it's been great. So um, you will see updates. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to document this whole experience as best I can. And I know a lot of you are really opposed to the idea of hunting, or even if you're not ethically opposed, you don't necessarily want to hear about it, let alone see it. So I'll, I'll do, I'll try to do a really good job of filtering and tagging that stuff so you can not, you know, needlessly expose yourself to something that horrifies you. Um, but for those of you who do care, I will make that accessible to you and write a lot. So that's how that's going. Here's some more Oliver. Ooh.